harmonicas, we have a couple of them over here. These are $4 harmonicas that you can practically buy either on the internet or any music store, even Cracker Barrel. Although you could go up in up and up and up in price, they have harmonicas that cost into the thousands. But they're gold plated and you really don't need anything <laughs> like that. There are a couple things you want to do and a couple things you don't want to do. So one of the things is you want to keep this clean. Remember where it's going to go in your mouth. You want to keep it warm. Okay, um, a warm harmonica is a easier to play harmonica than a cold one and you have less chance of damaging the reeds. You also want to keep it dry and we will do something called a lap wap. You see the holes on the harmonica, 10 holes on this particular one and long holes here. I hold a finger, my index finger over the long holes and I just do something called a lap wap every five minutes just to get any condensation or any, any um, moisture out. There are also things you don't do. You don't share this. Don't share this with a grandchild or uh, a spouse or your, your friendly dog. Um, it's not really meant for that. Hair dryers can damage this, can damage the reeds, so you really to dry out your harmonica, you're better off to just leave it dry in the air. And you do not want to run it under running water for the same reason that can damage your harmonica. We're using two different ways of trying to figure out how to breathe in and how to blow out. To breathe in, you're going to see the numbers with a circle around it. When you don't see the, the circle, you're going to blow out. So I've got, a, I've got a note here that we're going to start on the left side of the harmonica with the numbers on the top. Those are the low, low notes of the harmonica. And the first thing we're going to do is 1A. And 1A says to breathe in the holes 1, 2, 3, 4, the holes corresponding to those numbers. And we'll breathe in for a count of four, hold our breath, and then breathe out for a count of four and hold our breath. All right, here we go. Deep breath in. That worked out real good. What we're going to do next is we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to vary the volume. So we're going to start soft, get loud, and end up soft, and then blow out soft, loud, soft. The term soft and loud is relative. You don't have to get as loud as me. You just get maybe a little bit louder than what you were before. So here we go, breathing in soft. Again. Now actually that's pretty easy because it's natural to, by the time you're end, ending with that breath, you're running out of air, you're getting naturally quieter. The next exercise is more of a challenge. We start out loud, get soft, end loud. So you have to have a little bit of air in reserve. Here we go. Deep breath, loud. And out. Again. Very good. This is a good time to do a lap lap. So what I found was that when I would get a chest congestion or bronchitis, I would find that my breath would run out by the time I was done talking and I'd just barely be able to get the air out. By practicing the harmonica, I found that I did have more reserve and was able to breathe better and 
breathe and talk for a longer period of time on a sentence. You can change the, the structure of the sound by changing the structure of your mouth and your tongue and the position. of. So what we're going to have people do is ooey-oo, okay? So you're going to, as you inhale and exhale, you're going to quote unquote say ooey-oo, and I'll show you what I mean. Same inhale, inhaling and exhaling over holes one through four. Can we try that? We certainly can. In, one at a time. And out. Two. Three. Now we're going to hold there. Catch our breath a little bit before we do the multi-breathing. The multi-breath is actually what it ends up being is a vibrato. And if you think about it in terms of a song, you can make a song so much more interesting if you add that little vibrato to it. That's without the ooey oo vibrato. Here's with it. It just makes the sound more human. So now we're going to do the multi ooey oo in and the multi ooey oo out. And here we go. We're going to try it. And now. Again. Excuse me. <clears throat> One of the things that you might find is that after playing for a little while, you might need to cough. This is a good thing. You are doing what Mary Jane wanted you to do. Take deep breaths. Utilize the parts of the lungs that we're not using on a regular basis. But by doing that, we are stirring up the mucus that may be down deep, just kind of residing there forever. Yep. By taking those deep breaths and doing some of these exercises, you are beginning to allow that mucus to mobilize. Number four, we're going to do short notes. Everything we've done to this point have been long notes. So once again, over holes one through four, we're going to let our diaphragm do the, do the short notes. And it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> Kind of like belly laughs. All right, so here we go. We're going to do them slow first. And we'll stop for a second. Catch our breath. And then we're going to do rapid. And we're only going to do a couple. We won't need to do too many. All righty? Yeah. Okay, here we go. And again. Theoretically, <laughs> you should be able to breathe <laughs> and play through a harmonica forever. I mean, think about it. What are you doing? You're breathing in, you're blowing out. What I have found is that I can be sitting there watching TV and I could be doing these exercises ongoing for minutes at a time. I may become uncomfortable. I may notice that, oh, I'm getting a little panic. I'm either breathing in too much or not breathing in enough. But by adjusting yourself a little bit, maybe a little bit slower, maybe a little bit softer, you can play and play and play and play. Harmonica playing is not the only thing that you can do to help your breathing. Uh, here in the hospital, we give out something called incentive spirometry, where we have you breathe in, you watch that little hockey puck kind of raise up, 
It's strictly for inhaling. This will do the same thing. And then we have something called a flutter valve, um, which creates a, a little bit of a back pressure and a little vibration to help break loose the, the mucus. It sounds like this if you've ever heard it. This will do the same thing. So you get your incentive spirometry and you get your flutter valve all together for a $4 price. Pinwheels, which I did not bring today, or blowing bubbles are not just great things to do to improve your lung capacity, but they're also great things to do with your grandkids or your, your kids.